by continuously performing bhajan, the mind becomes rasika. Then the devotee becomes as attached and accustomed to his ishta day. Custom. Not need to afford for that, yeah. <clears throat> Father and mother has to, to learn to love his son. Beloved has to think for his husband and lover. Is it? It's a natural. It happens. What I do, I want to stop it. But it's not a stopping. Mind is going that way. That's an custom. Habit. It becomes habit. What to do? Similarly, if you are attached with your there, it will become a custom in my life not to deviate for the other things. It will be natural. That is Raga Bhakti. Is nothing unnatural. Sri Adhani, go on. So then the devotee becomes as attached and accustomed to his Ishtadev as a conditioned soul is to his wife and children. You see? Similar is not a different, is a natural. Where I identify myself, I I flow in that direction. If I am an ego, I follow, I see everything in ego consciousness. I am living in my senses, I want opposite senses. If I am in my soul, I see from the soul consciousness a spark, light. And when I am in our sarup, in my constitutional position, what Prabhupada is telling, that my constitutional position becomes attached with that. It is natural. It is a custom. Custom. It is a natural. Right? That's my Anat. Yes, Gurudev. Natural. Mm. Like when you go to sleep, it naturally comes. Natural. When you fall in love, it's natural. So if you fall in love with her, there is natural. All is the center point. You ask to hear four hour, five hour, nobody is with me. All they are working for Adam. Because they understand that I am only navigator. Gold is Radha Mohan. Gold is not a guru. 
goal is the is the way. When this become clear, everything will become natural. That is why the Goswamis say we want sa sangha bhajan uh, worship want? with no, no, attachment no. sa sangha what is mean sa sangha we the hindi word what is sa sangha Can anyone is say? it like minded? Yes. <laughs> if one unlike unlike minded person come, it puts lemons in our milk. Then what will happen if you put two drops of milk in the milk? What will happen to the milk? Form will change. Your feeling will change. Then you will be in morning class, Russian class. Greed will go. Eh? Reasoning will come in our life. Reason. This or that, this or this, this or that. So reasoning, if I want to live in reasoning, is a philosophy. If you want to be in, in the mallow, then we have to need satsangha based. Same mellow, same mood for you. Well, yeah, I explain you. But I am little too late, tired. So all you have to share and do. I give you some points that you go on this way. That sharing and doing. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Go on. We want Sasanga Bhajan. Worship with attachment to the deity. Yeah. Ana Sangha Pachana. Worship without attachment to Radha and Krishna won't do. So there are two groups. One is attacked with Gurudev and he only says Gurudev, Gurudev. One is attached with the Ishtadev. Keep in mind, I give you thermometer. Now you want decide yourself which association you want to go if you associate some lemon drop will come sure. You like Istadev attachment or Gurudev attachment? Hmm? 
Gurudev attachment, I know say can detach and fight with him, but he's a navigator. If you make the goal of Gurudev, then then who is the, your navigator? Navigation is, is a more important because it's a hidden path. Hidden path need navigation for the goal. Please try to understand, my dear. I don't love my Gurudev. I love. But I don't want to leave him. From my meditation and to the surrender to him. Never. I never think that I'm a guru. I'm still a student. Then I learn. Please, my dear, one goal makes your there. I'm so proud. One day I called to Lavanga and she took the camera and bring to the deity to show my I got the Radha Mohan. I got my Radha Mohan. Without any efforts, clothes and ornaments and this, I was so happy. When you are yesterday with you, everything, circumstances will become favorable, my dear. Today is a Radhika birthday, and she proposed to his father and mother, my birthday will be only done when my Nitai Gaur Abhishek will happen. You see, small baby girl, seven, eight years old girl, nine, nine, nine years now. You see, this is the mercy of his father, Gopinath and mother. Mm -hmm. Right or not? There is no any occasion for Nitai or Abhishek. But her feeling that Nitai or Abhishek is my birthday. Mm. She is not interested in any <laughs> party and shati. Abhishek. And all his friends come to do Abhishek, and everyone do Abhishek us. We want Sasanga Pachan. Wow. Worship with attachment to the deity. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
Attached to you. Ah, nice. <laughs> You're so nice. Make me like this. So I can have to say attachment in the future. Ah. When they, they, that day will come in my life. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ana Sangha Bhajan worship without attachment to Radha and Krishna will not do. It is my duty to chant the holy name a fixed number of times. That's why I do it. But I do not relish the sweetness of the name. Mahaprabhu could not even pronounce the word Jagannath when he was in ecstasy while dancing in the Ratha Yatra. He was saying, Jaja Gaga, Jaja Gaga, with faltering voice. Then the Lord relished Pratipadam Purnam Purnamrita Svadanam, the full nectar at every step. Srila Dasa Goswami has said, O oh my tongue, suffering from thirst, please mix the delicious, fresh, enchanting nectar of the name Radha with the wonderfully sweet condensed milk of the name Krishna. Add the fragrant, delightful ice of pure, passionate love and drink this charming drink at every moment. Radhe, would you be so kind to read one more time this beautiful words of Raghunath? Mm -hmm. Oh my tongue, suffering from thirst, We can say, brother, we can say, O oh my soul, you are always suffering from the thirst. Because the soul never can be satisfied without this beautiful devotional service. To Radhika. So this thirst is the sign of great greed, passionate love. 
not ordinary love, but greed. And this is the nature of the soul, to never be satiated and always be thirsty. And the only medicine for this thirst is a special drink, which now Raghunath is describing. Please. Please mix the delicious, fresh, enchanting nectar of the name Radha. Radha. Fresh. Delicious, a chanting, full of rasa, nectar, amrita. So the person who feels Radhika, who is immersed in her name, form, beautiful, endless qualities, and especially with her beautiful, sweet lilas, he can taste this delicious, fresh, and chanting nectar. This nectar, even Krishna is saying, that he is completely enchanted with this beautiful, sweet, delicious name, Ra Da. So, when devotee, by the mercy, is chanting, she should not. He should know that it's not mechanical chanting. It's completely delicious and helping take out the thirst of the soul. Please continue the more. With the one, please mix the delicious, fresh, enchanting nectar of the name Radha. Right. With the one. With the one. With the wonderfully sweet condensed milk of the name Krishna. Read again. Oh, my tongue. Suffering from thirst. Please mix the delicious, fresh, enchanting nectar of the name Radha. with the wonderfully sweet condensed milk of the name Krishna. 
Then add the fragrant, delightful ice of pure, passionate love. And drink this charming drink at every moment. Manjari is drinking and condensed milk is Krishna. Who make condense? And Radha name is a feeling. When feeling mixed with rasa, that is Anand. When Radha mixed with Krishna, that gives Anand to Manjari. Manjari give an, take Anand. So Hare is Radha. And second is Krishna, it's become condensed. Why become condensed? Because Radha is array to Krishna, is embracing to Krishna. It become condensed. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Ram. Ramaiti Ram. Ram. Mohan Mom means Mohan Ram. When they become one, is Chaitanya. It become more condensed. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Ram, Ram. Hare Hare. This Hare Hare is the kinkari, manjari, who is meditating in Radha Krishna. They, is, they are relishing every moment. This is Mahamantra. Please. Try to chant with this meditation. And then you see how the result is coming. Raghunath is adding in this Maha Mantra his pure passionate love. Pure passionate love. Yeah. And then this drink special drink of Maha Mantra is that, charming drink. That is the thing. That is the thing. He said, I am relishing, you can also relish this Maha Mantra. And when this realization comes, when you chant Gayatri by by your practicing, and when you realize the mantra of Gayatri, then it become more and more clear, practical. You do and it happens. That is the beauty. So it's a combination of both of them. And all these mantras, Diksha's mantra, Diksha mantra, 
Yes, it's going on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 24 hours. Yes. So, this is the phone. The Acharyas teach us that we must relish each item of devotion in this way. One is you relish from the heart and understand through the mind. Try to understand the difference. You relish inside your heart and mind is not relishing. Is creating reasoning, but when you start relishing, reasoning will stop. Because mind is sitting with the false ego, so this creates the reasoning. So mind cannot relish. We say, my mind is relishing. No, 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 no. Mind is finding the reasoning. But the mind is alone, not with false ego, so it goes direct to the heart and then it's relish. You check what I say, when we relish, when mind and false ego is separate and then it go inside to heart. Then we relish and we want to go on in relation. And when mind is with the false ego, he is searching the reasoning behind that. Gurudev, one thing come to my heart. Can I say about this? Sure, Thank you very much. from Japan. So when we are in manobriti, we are creating reason. But when I, 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 I love you. <laughs> you see, I know her from the sixteen only. <laughs> First time and last time I went to Japan, and that time I met her. What a beautiful sea talking. Read it. Uh, say again. Yeah. Just uh, I repeat it, Gurudeva's word, and come no, to my mind. my mind. When we are in Manobritti, we are creating reason. What is Manobritti? Explain that. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Goranga Sundaji and uh, Deva Pranaji is good for me. I try. And Manobritti means our Britti, direction of consciousness, goes to mind, like a mental. Mental needs reason. This is uh, like uh, making a hankara. We cannot uh, enter from this material world. This is good. Wow, wow. very good. And when yes. we are going to Chittabritti, 
Chitta means heart, na Guru Dev said. Vritti is direction. We are going to this heart direction. Our consciousness goes to heart. Then our feeling comes. Feeling don't need reason. Just feeling is just feeling. I mean love. This makes our swarupa. And what is the meaning of the feeling in Hindi? What do you say? Feeling? Yeah, just uh, maybe different word. This chitta I mean. Said uh, in the word, Philip Baba. Yeah, <laughs> Baba is Dasi of Radhika because he is Mahatma. Yes, when you come, you become Dasi of Radhika. Yes. And the feeling will become content. That is your Mandiri Saru. It's not any any material form is there. Condensed feeling. Ah, my, my God, we get you see. My Radhika say to everyone, happy birthday. All say. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, 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 Radhika, happy birthday. Birthday, Radhika. Happy birthday. Radhika. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. A picture up. Down there, put, put up camera and put the screen. Are you screen? Yeah. No, 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 no. I think like this. <laughs> yeah. Move it up. Yeah, yeah. Come, come here. <laughs> yeah. Bless her. And she will sing one in Sanskrit. Please sing. Please come sit here. Yeah. yeah. Ananta Vijayam Raja Kunti one more, please. Wow. I cannot hold. She knows many slopes. He play the violin, she can sing in harmonium, she can play the medanga, she is beautiful. Bless her to develop in the spiritual life. She becomes Radha Dasi. And so, to Mama and Papa and to Radha Mohan, right? Bless my blessing always to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, you. Okay. I will leave yeah. you. Move, move up the camera. Screen, move up. It go down. Tight it. Nice. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. No, again down. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Yes, go on. So what we are going? Sorry. Five, I guess. One, two, three.
What was the subject? The Acharyas teach us that we must relish each item of devotion in this way. Each item. All other desires from sense gratification to liberation are all cheating. As long as such cheating propensities are there, there can be no pure devotion, let alone Raga Bhakti. Shilila Shuka said, O oh Lord, when our devotion to you becomes firm and fixed, we may be so fortunate to behold your divine adolescent form. Liberation will personally serve us with folded hands and religiosity, economic development, and sense gratification will be waiting for the time to attend to us. Yeah. A person in whose heart the splendor of Radharani's toenails arises, is fearless and undisturbed. Uh, a person in whose heart the splendor of Radha Rani's toenails arises is fearless and undisturbed. Explain. If you permit me to read it. Yes. Actually, this is the two bhavas here. The verse is from Sakiba which Bilva Mangala Thakur is saying and he's saying devotion to you, my Lord has to be fixed, firm and I want to see your divine adolescent form this is the mood of Sakis they want to see Krishna. His Nava Yovana form. And what's going on because of this kind of devotion is that liberation, Dharma, Artha, Kama, and Moksha are waiting to approach to such devotee. But Baba is saying, person in whose heart the splendor of Radharani's toenails, and this is the mood of Manjaris, who are always meditate on the feet and toenails of Radharani. 
this is their focus. They are fixed in Radhika. The secondary results is that they are becoming fearless and undisturbed. Yes. Moini, you're listening, you understand, like it? Wow. So good. Very nice. Sundaram, understand? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Devi understand? Yeah. Karuna understand? Yes. Yes, it's simple. And it will so fix that if you want to move, you cannot move it. Then dharma, artha, kama, mukha, no, no, no meaningful. Mukha, why mukha? Why mukha from this? Janam, janam, mohiti, you. Always, if you give birth, give me birth in Vrindavan. In your, you know, lotus feet and toenails, to bury I know any claim, anything that I want to go back to home. What you want to do, do, but I want to be with you also. I want to be in feeling and love. You are always with me when feelings are there and only you are in my heart. I am with you always. Nothing can disturb me. What material thing will disturb? Material will come and go. I will not disturb the child. Wow. Go on. A person in whose heart the splendor of Radharani's toenails arises mm. is fearless and undisturbed. Wow. Renunciation is there in the minds of those who are absorbed in uh, these load. This is renouncing that I observe someplace. I renounce other things. Be, being one pointed. Yes, wow. So nice. 
is a natural announcement. You no need to effort for that. Yeah. Everything is wow. wasted for someone whose heart does not carry these lotus feet. But a devotee who accepts the mood of the kinkaris will always experience being close to these lotus feet. How blissful it is to even think I am close to her. This is the result of attachment which we read before. Whatever I do, I want to do with attachment, not mechanically. And this attachment is the result of intense love. which is completely focused in one-pointed swamin. In no, one-pointed, I say you, this attachment, you work inside in yourself and outside in day-to-day -day life, but you are doing everything but you are not attached there. You are thinking that you are working for Swami. All your work is for Swami. You are her dasi. What she say you do? What is the problem? She said to do this, I do this. When you surrender, then it happens. When you have a your false ego and and you not surrender hundred percent then we do then we take the karma you understand then we take the this time human body the other time animal body the snake body when I do myself my karma then I take the bee like that. And when I surrender to her and I attach one pointer, then what she say, I do. What she creates circumstances, I do. But I feel I am doing for her only. You not deviate. You will say to give example, any material person you attach, then you work and do for that person in material life. You attach with your child, you work for child, and you everything do for his benefit. Similarly, if you attach with Radhika, you are surrendered to Radhika and you are doing for everything for her. Um, because you are meditating only one point and she is everywhere. She is full of feeling and she is living and non-living. Every circumstance she is there. She is nowhere those who she is not present. She is present everywhere. 
अखंड मंगल ऑल इन दूनिवर्स in in the trees in the animals in the plants in the all creation see the magnet for the service for divine yeah. his lover is she is doing everything in the air cut feeling and rasa can give ananda any place feeling is radhika love means radhika and who relish that is a krishna and the manjari only aren't happy when they are happy when this understanding is clear all will be clear you can understand all words by word By the devotee who accepts the mood of the kinkaris, will always experience. to be close to this lotus feet how blissful it is to even think i am close to her family has received the nectar of krishna's lips the jokes of her sakis crystallize the sweetness of their relish tulasi seats swamini on a stool and washes her mouth swamini then holds court with her sakis while the jeweled wick is burning Tulasi then comes and stands before Swamini carrying a jeweled plate with a self-made betel leaf containing cardamom ground cashew nutmeg areca nuts camphor and cloves swamini is absorbed in talking about mohana with her girlfriends tulasi attracts her attention by calling her madhura gatri sweet limbed girl sweetheart when when is she madhura gatri for the kinkaris when she is with mohana nothing is as sweet as that 
。是啊。Why? 嗯嗯嗯 Why is the beta leaf called param or best? There is a secret in that. Tulasi has secretly mixed some of Mohan's leftover pan in it that she had discreetly received from Danishta when she was at Nandishvara earlier in the evening. Dhanishta knows what is on Swamini's mind. Therefore, she has given these better leaves to Tulasi. When Swamini catches the fragrance of this pan, she becomes enchanted and possessed with greed. The pan chewed by Madana Mohana is even sweeter than nectar. And its scent increases the desire of Swamini's tongue. O Saki, Madana Mohana increases the yearning of my tongue with his nicely chewed petal leaves. That defeat the sweetness of nectar. Chaitanya Charitamrita says, I cannot describe the value of the bitter leaves that were chewed by Krishna. <laughs> They are also most proud of being called the essence of nectar and being able to use the gopi's mouth as spittoons. This Pan is the greatest elixir. When Swamini smells it, she becomes overwhelmed. It is as if Mohana has appeared in person. Looking at Swamini, it seems as if she sits there with someone else, hugged against somebody. Mohana. How sweet. How beautiful, how splendid. It is the bhava service of bhava mai. 
by the bhava kinkari in the kingdom of bhava without bhav this cannot be grasped radhe maybe we can stop just a little bit for this beautiful sentence of ananda das baba ji so bhava mai radhika who is full of emotions she is embodiment of emotion her all body is made of bhava maha can only be served with bhava service with full emotions by whom by king kari who is deeply absorbed in baba so when we say rasa also embodiment of rasa and embodiment of mahabhava they should be served with proper mood full of rasa service must be full of rasa and we can see from the words just in the beginning how ragunath is playing is praying sorry when will my hair stand on of ecstasy so he is asking to to feel this bhava so that he can serve radhika with full bhava because she is bhava mai always absorbed in kingdom of bhava sridhar mute so we have to connect our hearts to this radicals maid servants if we want to attain radhika like like our supreme goal because through them we can learn how to think like a king kares to feel like a king kares and to serve like a king curse and in that way through their close association we can develop our attachment without baba this cannot be grasped Baba is finished. I just wanted to say like this. Okay. One thing come to my heart. So about this prasadam of better not. because you know better is uh, we can cover the left over of krishna inside mixing if you no know covered maybe someone can understand oh this is some mixing of left over but this hiding mixing rasa and uh, hiding really give this nothing to say this is from krishna but uh, if trashi give swami 
then Swami automatically understand this is from Torasi and from Danista Saki and Krishna. How beautiful this relationship and how beautiful this Rasada move literally. That's why so Prasada is much much tasty and nectar. Just one bite hiding the reason. Rather with this taste. That was like, great. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, rather rather. How? Uh, one second. The great composer of Rasa Shastras, Maharishi Bharata Muni, has written. When bhava becomes mature, it attains rasa rupata, a form of rasa. Bhava has to be condensed, thick, thick, very thick. Then it comes in the form of rasa. When bhava is condensed, then the bhava deha very clearly appears in the heart of the sadhaka. So many times Guru Dev said that this bhava is the essence of everything, but this bhava has to be nourished and nourished and nourished to be more condensed, more condensed, more condensed, to become attachment addiction that mind can become rasa and rasa when it's is krishna raso rasa when the rasa is condensed means rasa roop ekata, means rasa roop ekata. Then rasa and bhava become one. That is Chaitanya. In one body, two souls. And then one soul, two body, Radha and Krishna, is a rasa, bhava, and rasa. Mahabhava and rasa is Radha and Krishna. When is one pointed be merited, Mandiri is merited, rasa, rupa, ekata, means do, there is no two now, they become one. Union, that is Chaitanya. And when this is two, then is a bhava and one is a rasa. 
and that give ananda. And this, who has a little bhav, they can see mahabhav and rasa. Without that, we cannot see Radha and Krishna. What I'm going to explain this is a very deep subject. My English is not good, so many will not understand. Explain it. Gurudev, your English is perfect. No, 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 explaining please. the rasa. More time at listening and listening, it becomes speaker. Yes. Yeah. So if, if we, my understanding is, I will try to fulfill Gurudev's instruction. So this Eka Atma Dui Deha Radhika and Krishna are Eka Atma one soul and because they want to relish their love they are becoming two deha two bodies and again they are becoming eka one in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And what's happened in the appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is that Mahabhava and embodiment of Rasa, Raso Vaisaha, Akila Rasamrita Murti, who is giving the pleasure to all devotees in different rasas, they are becoming united together in the form of Goranga. So this is real Rupa of Ananda. When they are together, they are becoming embodiment of Ananda in one body, but in the same time, there are two persons which exchange their mutual love between each other. So, if we really want to understand Radha and Krishna, <coughs> Mahabhav and Rasulai Saha, we have to go deeply in the understanding of Gora. As more we understand and feel who is Gora, we will more understand is loving affairs between Radhika and Krishna. And when we more understand Radha and Krishna, automatically we will understand more deeply different stages of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which he expressed and felt, tasted also in Gambira. And in this Gambira, he fully tasted Mahabhava and Rasa in the mood of Radha Bhava. And this Ananga.
and also in mood of kinkiri bhav i just wanted to say this <laughs> 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 and one more this is uh, uttama ujwalasa <laughs> that that is yeah. uttam ujwalasa was there but uttam means the uh, highest he increased this he, he felt to be a king to the of radha and to be fixed there that is utta but it's Sorry. not easy gurudev it's not easy to see and to feel this through the scriptures this manifestation of kinkari in chaitanya mahaprabhu so we need the help of those who were absorbed in chaitanya mahaprabhu in gora lila how he delivered and the maharaj is practicing to recite this three years he is searching on it is in chaitanya mahaprabhu and he is a very good research in this subject today he is not here but you have to uh, invite for this point about the very very you find it about the chaitanya mahaprabhu how he Radishing in Manjali Bhav, and how he is teaching about that. <laughs> he is researching in this point, <clears throat> and he is a great pundit to research the scriptures. He is a big asset for us. Light Ravni, Nihon Ravani, son. Yes, there it is. Yeah. Guru Dev, mm -hmm. can we just continue? Yeah, Be because it it will be finished for just quick, 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 yeah, few yeah. sentences. Yeah, because we will got complete <laughs> picture about yeah. everything what we were talking. Yeah. Please ask me. Bhava is understood to mean bhav manavritti or a mentality. There are two kinds of faculties of the mind. The manifest and the unmanifest. When the manifest thoughts dwell in the mind, it is called manavritti. And when the unmanifest thoughts are there, it is called samskara, vasana. <laughs> Bhava or Bhavana. 
when this devotional samskara takes a place in the heart by the grace of the saints, all will be understood, experienced, and relished. Jaho, Jaho. Tulasi attracts Swamini's attention because now she is in the kingdom of Lila. Where has her mind gone? The Sakis know it. And Swamini speaks with them in that mood. That's why the word Vaktrambuja is used here in the text. A speaker is called Vaktra. Tulasi calls out, Ai Madhura Gatri, calling Swamini back to reality. And Swamini, who is greedy, after their fragrance, eagerly stretches out her hand to grab the better leaves from her jeweled plate. What a wonderful expertise in devotional service. Swamini has stopped speaking with her sakis just to put my better leaf in her mouth. As soon as Tulasi offers the better leaves, she cannot see Swamini's mouth anymore. The transcendental revelation disappears from Srila Raghunathas and he laments out of great grief. He Radhe Madhurangi, O oh, sweet formed Radhe, Navi Nakishori. O oh, young adolescent girl, your maidservant has goose pimples of ecstasy on her skin when she offers better leaves with camphor to your lotus mouth. When can I serve you in this way, when the time is right? Thus ends the verse 52.